Hey, what's going on everybody? Gray Alistair here and welcome to today's recorded video of Minecraft Set Deck Ages. Today, we are going to be doing some, you know, just quality of life stuff, some uh, basic chores around the house. So the first thing I want to do is get into the celestial crystals up here, up top, um, because as you may or may not remember, we actually had to build on top of our structures a fair bit and uh, you know it got a little messy I don't like building on top of pre-existing structures so I think we're gonna try to build like a little section off on the side here maybe on both sides so then we can have multiple crystal farms going first off we need to build that the celestial crystal build that is what we're doing so another thing we could do today which I don't think should take too long is build up our castle roof you know we don't have this done yet we have been sitting in the rain our chests are getting absolutely waterlogged i'm surprised that the you know cobblestone and granite doesn't have any moss on it yet you know it's pretty disgusting and the last thing we could do we built our horses a stable last video last live stream so let's go ahead and build our doggies a dog house and that is what we're doing that is the plan and now we just gotta see how it goes so let's hop right into it so first off i want to try to get some blocks i want to Get a lot, a lot of blocks. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm, I'm really thinking here that we just yank it down from right here. Just like that. Build it out three. And then from here, we can actually have this as our floor, question mark? This could be our floor. Two, three. And I think we should have marble slabs on the sides here. So now we can take the iron that we have and take all of our iron ore, maybe not all of it, but we can take a good sum of it. And what if we just like place it down right here? How would that look? You know what? No, I think the floor should be made out of the iron. So yeah, I think we're gonna have the floor made of iron like this. And then we can have slabs up on the back slabs on the other back and then we can set up three channels to grow crystals on right here i think that's a good build i think another thing we should do potentially is break all of this down and i we don't even need this honestly yeah this is our little side build and now we can freely put liquid starlight in this little basin area here and grow crystals as needed without interfering with our structure so one Two, and three, boom. And now we can just throw some dust in, dust, rock crystal, oh, rock crystal, yeah, boom. Okay, and now let's do the rock crystal, that is the celestial crystal, oops, don't want to do that, stardust, and put the last stardust and rock crystal right there. So now we have a pretty decent, pretty decent uh, area to build these. Uh, we do need to link them up actually. So let's go ahead and link them. Let's link them all to the iron. Yep, that's already crafted. Nice. Link this to the iron as well. Did it link properly? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Do I need to replace this? I might have to replace this. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it off. All right. So now we can relink these like so. Yeah. Is that working for us? I think that's working for us. Alright, and now that we're at this point, we can actually just go ahead and break what we have here. Not be too concerned about it. We have tons of rock crystals, so I'm not worried about wasting any. And let's go ahead and break these pieces of iron out. Get them out of our way. So, we have one little region on the side, like that. Might do another one over here. I think that could be a good idea. 
so let's see, how did we start it? We just took it off the corners, the sides, yep. Two, three, four, five, five, five. And like that, like this, and wrap it around. And now we need to place a block down here so we can get our floor of iron, like so. All right, and we should be able to relink it. So link it to here, and to here, and to here. Question is, can it actually be seen? I don't think it can actually be seen. Because I think this is just shooting right into the crystals, not necessarily the iron blocks below. So if we break this out, And if we right click this, would it, it links to the block now. Okay, it was not linking to the block before. Now it's linking to the block. Okay. I think that was part of our problem. Definitely part of our problem. Okay. So if we need to keep this open, would be an issue with our build design. Yeah, that might be a problem. Oh, you know what could be a good idea? Uh, what if we actually raised it up? What if we raised these up to match the level of the crystal? And then we can just be shooting starlight into the star metal ore rather than the, on top of the star metal ore. Instead of shooting for the top of the star metal ore, let's shoot for the side of it. I think that could be a good idea. Let's try that out. Okay, so let's rethink this. If we do stepping stones... Let's do stepping stones up. And let's build our platform here. So we're going to have three, yeah, three. Does this reach? That is my question. It does. Nice. Nice. Okay, we can use this. Look at that. This is perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, so now that we have a decent structure that is able to shoot starlight directly into the iron ore, this is where we can actually go ahead and start placing all of our starlight. Our liquid starlight finally has a place to go. So let's get one, two, three. Replace it into one, two, and three. And now let's go ahead and take the crappy, crappy celestial crystals that we have. We'll toss this one down into here. This one down into here. And let's go ahead and toss some stardust in that one and stardust in on this one. So we're doing just two for now. And that'll be a-okay. Let's take another couple rock crystals. Probably didn't want to use the celestial crystals, but I did it anyway. Uh, let's see... Do we have any celestial crystals on table? Probably not. Uh, this is a good one. Let's hold on to that. And let's get a crystal in the middle here. And the star metal should be supplying starlight to these crystal clusters and allowing them to grow. Hopefully. Yeah, so that one just sucked up the iron ore from that. This one has not sucked up the star metal from that yet, but it is on its way. That's the good news. I think this is what we wanted to see. Yep, yep, there we go. Okay, this is the winner. I repeat, we have a winner. And maybe we have just this one, or maybe we do another one on the side here. 
Here, let's actually create another one on the side. Branch out one, branch out the sides. And it looks like we need to go one more. Three, four, okay, cool. So this should be the same height. It should be. But I feel like it's not. Hold up. Okay, so my forehead is hitting here. And this is where the iron would go. Okay, cool. I use my forehead as a unit of measure. It's fine. It's normal. <laughs> okay, so branch it. We are creating the ultimate celestial cluster farm right here. Okay, so link this, link that, link that. I don't know if I have to re-click the crystal each time, but I find it easier to do so. It just makes sense to me. But this should be good enough for what we want to do. Let's go ahead and start growing some more clusters. Alright. So right here. One, two, three. We have the stardust, and we need some more rock crystals. Here we go. Let's do it. Alright, so one, two, one, two, one, two. And that should be creating three. Oh, hold up. I think the Stardust actually collected on that one. Ah, yeah, there we go. Now we have three new rock crystals beginning to be formed. We'll have one extra, I believe. One extra, um, what's it called? You know what I mean. One extra Stardust in this mix, but that's okay. So from here, let's wait on that. I think we have successfully created the Celestial Crystal build, so let's move on to the... Uh, we'll do the Doghouse next. Fences, please. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, 45. It's a little excessive, but I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and build the Doghouse right here. Let's get these out of the way. We don't want them. Let's get this out of the way. Put it on the side. Take the rain barrel. Put it over here. And doggies, you're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move. It's raining right now, I'm sorry. Yeah. Get under get under the tree. Yeah. Stay out stay out of the rain. I deserve to be here. You do not. So let's go ahead and place some you wood here. And here. You know what? I don't like how it's attaching to the wall. I don't like that it's attaching to the wall. So let's do this instead. So we'll have one here, have one here. Do a little bit of a backing like this. This will just be the basic doghouse. And I want to say we'll do the Oakwood Stairs leading up. Like so. This might be a bad doghouse. I'm not the best at doghouses. It's not my forte per se. But we've got this. We have that now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we want... But I think this is good. I think we've done what we came out to do. This is a doghouse. Uh, let's actually fill this up with some thin slabs on the inside so it doesn't look too messy. Like that. Boom. Doghouse. Alright. Come on in, puppies. The water's fine. Alright, first come over here so you, like, run towards me. Good. Now everybody come in here. Yeah. Okay, that one's a little slow. But the, he's got the idea. Alright, I've got, I've got the whole speed thing going. Alright, you. You. You're with me. Come on now. 
stop. Alright, in the house. In the dog house. Keep it going. Yep. Just, just turn around and look at me. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, I forgot I could pick them up. Anyway, doggies! Yay! Dogeons! How are our crystals doing? They're, they're doing alright. This one's doing better than the rest. Alright, so last thing on the list for today. Also, if I haven't said anything yet, this is the conglomerate of things that I want to try to do in these recorded episodes. First off though, we're just gonna build. We're just gonna keep on building, because you know, building is a whole lot of fun. So let's do exactly that. So I've already kind of built out an outline of where I want our uh, of where I want our structures to be. So let's just go ahead and build this up. So the flight ability makes this really easy. I'm so glad we took the time to invest ourselves in the Astral Sorcery mod. Definitely a lifesaver. 100% lifesaver. And this actually looks pretty good. I think this is a decent enough height to start playing with it a little bit. So I think we should actually pull it in a little. So I'll take the corners. Take all of our inside corners. And I will still start building two our inside corners. So not like that, but like that. And we should be almost to the end here. Yes. So build this up. And we want to make this center version of our watchtowers a little higher than these side watchtowers that we're going to have. So let's make sure that we have this at most, or at least uh, five blocks above where it usually is. So right now it's at three, so let's raise it up two more levels and see where we get to. Let's see how it looks from that. So that's four. We need one more layer and we will be there. So yeah, we have three, we have a five, and now I think we should bring it back out just a little bit. It will go up two, kind of like how it does on the sides here. Two, one, two. And let's have it go on the inner corner here, actually. Make it make it look different. Alright. And you know, actually it doesn't look too bad having that little edge here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is a beast. That is an absolute beast. All right, let's go down here. Let us fill up our reserves with some more cobble as we are going to the end. On another note, we will be utilizing some more of the U logs. We're gonna try to match what's going on over here at least a little bit. Um, maybe not to the same extent, but we do have a floor plan in here. I'm actually really tempted to leave this as a whole. We're not going to have any kind of ladder going up to the top here. This is purely going to be cosmetic. Though since we do have the ability to fly, we might be using this area a little bit. I'm not sure. So let's take this arrayed brick. All of the arrayed brick. And from here, we can actually use our building one. It's such a nice feature. Nice, nice feature. And we might actually have to turn this crack cobblestone into something else. Actually, we can just leave it broken out like this, because then we can just stretch out what's going on in the middle here a little bit more. U logs, U log, U, and U. Awesome. So let's go ahead and finish this side with the array brick. Nice. And let's turn this into a braid brick just on the side here, so then we can fill this in. Fill it in nicely. Okay. I think we need some more braid brick. We're gonna run out. Craft all that up. Good. So 
So we have the entire top four of this finish. Look at that. That was so easy. All right, now what block do we want to be the centerpiece? Should we just make a, uh, we might just make a single piece of like chisel cobble? Yeah, look at that, chisel, circular. It's circular in the middle, why not? Look at that, beautiful. Okay, we have some torches. We have five torches. Okay, we actually have 14 torches, look at that. Okay, so let's get, let's get them in the corners here. that. That's pretty good. It lights it up. And let's also go ahead downstairs and grab ourselves, let's grab ourselves some of the cobblestone wall because we've been meaning to use that. Why is that zombie? How dare you. Stop yelling. I'm in the middle of making a video. How could you do that? Ooh, typically I would say I have it on the corners, but how would that look? It almost seems a little excessive. Maybe we skip those two in the middle? I think skipping the two in the middle makes more sense. Okay, I think this looks really good. Let's go ahead and plop some extra torches down. We'll have it on just the faces of the shape. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then we can do one in the middle, on, also on the face of the shape. We have now successfully created our... <laughs> the beginning of the end of our castle build. That is insane, look at that. So I think we should have this bow itself in now. We should be working with the cracked... the cracked cobble. The, the quack. The quack cobble. You know what, let's work from the outside and work our way in. What could possibly go wrong? So it kind of hits an edge here. But I think that's okay. That's that's not a bad look to it. To be hitting the edge of the other one. Because that was what I was going for initially. But I guess I wasn't sure how that would finish out. How that would play together. But I think this will work. And we'll go three up on this one. Alright. Look at that. That looks good. And you know what? Just for the sake of continuity, let's go ahead and fill this in as well. And now we'll bring this back out. So this goes up three, so maybe I should have this go up three as well? I know the sides are supposed to be smaller, but it's also just like... Ooh, actually, it might be too much. Three is going to be too much. Too similar. Too similar. So I think we'll just keep it here. And we actually have this structure in the middle that we could start filling in with the U-logs. So you would go here. right from the inside of the base. Let's go ahead and fill this in. Nice. Let's go ahead and fill this in. Let's take our chisel, get some of the array brick, our favorite, and let's start filling it in some more. Doing the thing, thing to do. Having a great time with it. All right. So we actually need to fill this in with the chiseled block, right? Also, I just realized I like to use the builder wand when I totally meant to use the chisel, but it's fine. So, circular chisel, boom. Okay, looks the same, looks the same, and now we just need to lay down some torches. Do it on the outside, because I doubt we're going to use this little inside area for much. It's mostly to look good on the out. Boom, boom, boom. Looking, looking like a king. Look at this. 
This is a king's castle right here, everybody. King's castle. Now we just need to repeat this on the other side. Oh, that's going to be painful. That's going to be painful. All right. Let's throw out this chisel. It's almost dead. Take this one and make a crap ton of cracked cobble. Because we're quacked. Okay, also, let's mine this out. Might have been a bad idea. Let's also turn this into a wall, I'm thinking. A wooden wall that acts as a structure to hold this up. Kind of like that look. It could work on. It could work for us, because now we can treat this as like an individual like room. Now it doesn't look as uh, stagnant. Gross. So it does a one, two, three, four, five. Two, two, five. Five, two, two, five. Oh, what is that? What is that? That was like a comet. Did y'all see that? I am confused. Did a comet just shoot out of my body? Like what? Oh, the amount of confusion. The um, pure amount of confusion. Look at that, that is amazing. All right, so this is our castle. This is our stronghold. Look at that. Look at that, that is amazing. We even have our tower in the background. We've got our giant yew tree right here. Actually, yeah, let's get the full view. That is what we've got right now. That is us. This this is all age two. Age one looks like absolutely nothing, but age two. Look at that. That is beautiful. That that is something to be proud of. We have finished our castle build. That is amazing. That is amazing. Let's fill this in. I don't like having this corner and or having the sides open, but I like having the roof open on this one. This this actually looks amazing. Especially with the like illumination powder lighting up the area. I think that's really cool. Should we just do a straight line of hue across the entire area? Or not the entire area, but we'll go across. We'll go across here. I like the look of that. It's a good look. turn this into something else, and we'll turn that into something else, and by something else, I mean we're just tilting it on the side. Yeah. And one, two, three. Okay. I can't tell how this actually looks. Is it growing on me? Is it not? No one knows. But now we definitely have a little cubby hole for our bed. <laughs> uh, okay. This this one is now bothering me. And should we have it go into the wall? I think having it go into the wall actually does look good. So this is just, these are just some renovations. Renovations V2. Maybe that'll be the name of this episode. Renovations V2. Oh, and what if we just fill all of this in with you? Oh, yo, that actually would look sick. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Now I need to do something like that on this side. Let's actually break these down. I don't much like the look of that anymore. One, two, three. One, two, three. And... One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
and we can have it stretch across. We can build its way up like that. Oh, that ain't it. That ain't it. Oh, get to me. Thank you. And now I'm tempted to have it boost up the wall like that. I'm breaking this so we can keep seeing what we're seeing, but. I am in love with this look. Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe we go sideways all the way up the wall until we hit the ceiling. Oh yes. Oh yes, that is a fantastic look. I am loving that look. Okay. And we now have a place to put our ear gas trophy. Just kidding, our ear gas trophy. Yeah, yeah. And let's put the heads of our enemies elsewhere. Let's put it, um, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I've had a great time building. I hope you guys enjoyed watching all the renovations that we made today. Um, on that note though, I think that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time, peace. Thank you.